Uh, hello guys. Uh, in this uh, Power Ops tutorial, I will show you guys how you can convert the, uh, uh, a, a text field into a drop down. So, uh, for, uh, uh, a text field of a data card from a drop to a drop down. Uh, so, basically, this field, if you see it, uh, originally it was a text box. I converted it to a drop down. Uh, so what's the idea behind this? So if you see, I have a SharePoint. I have uh, this SharePoint list. Just I created this list. I have a uh, created a field device, and uh, I I have another SharePoint list, uh, which is uh, device types. So I just have iPhone, laptop, Samsung, so uh, to the device type. And in this form, uh, if I I will delete this, so I will remove everything. I uh, have uh, nothing. Uh, so uh, what, for example, if we insert uh, an edit form and. Uh, Okay, let me do it from the beginning. If you guys, you know how to create connections to SharePoint. If you don't know it, so let me remove my connection. I will recreate that also. So let me delete this. So, uh, for example, we create a connection to our SharePoint. I will click here, connect. I'll select my SharePoint, so I will select my tool list that I needed for this to work. Uh, I connect to my SharePoint list, so uh, here I created the connection, and then here in the screen I will insert an edit form, and inside my edit form, for example, I will select the, this list. And now it's full attachment. If you see this device is the text field, then originally it was a text field in the SharePoint list. So, but uh, as we don't want uh, for data consistency, like uh, we don't want to type here, we want that the user should uh, select the devices, for example. Uh, in that case, so that's we want to change this and power apps into. Uh, uh, a drop down. Uh, okay, uh, so how we can do that? For example, let me create a button also here. Say button just to submit our form. Okay, submit. Uh, okay, and this one we just uh, submit our form. Okay, this is the form. We just submit it. Okay, uh, the main point of this tutorial is how we can convert this card uh, text field to a uh, drop down. You, how we can do it, you select the card, and once uh, you select uh, the card, you click on this edit field, and then yeah, here you can select the device and from the controls here if you if I scroll down uh, here you can see diff uh, there are more different options multi uh, line text the dead text so we can uh, uh, see different options and here you can see uh, allowed values so we will select the allowed values if we select this, then it shows uh, kind of uh, a change to a drop down type. But how we can populate the data from the device type list? So, to do that, we select our card, and uh, here, if you select it, you see that it's uh, allowed values are locked. So, and also if you click here, Click that once. You see, uh, it's uh, 
locked. How you can do it, you select this one, then uh, on the, uh, you select this and then you select advanced and click unlock the properties. Okay, so once you do that, then uh, you can select this uh, uh, property and then uh, on the items, you can, for example, uh, say the uh, device type. When you select that one, so you see we get a kind of error here. If you click the error in the formula, we don't have a value. So what we do is we select that, have a title field in our device, so you see that the error is gone. And if we uh, select uh, run, uh, if we select the actual card, you see uh, we don't have it, we run it for example, let's, let me run, let me change this one to default modulate if we run our card it's still blank it's a drop down but the values are not shown because uh, we haven't chosen the field for it so if you select the again the uh, drop down now and here you can now select the uh, different fields for example for us we have the title field and when we select it you see that it taking the value and uh, if we run our app now you can see that we can choose uh, different values here and for the purpose of demonstration let me submit the form now some success I want to reset my form so I will say uh, reset um, form four. Okay, so I'm yeah, resetting the form. So let's see. Uh, let's uh, run our. Let's open our list first. You see, we don't have any data. Uh, let's submit. Um, uh, let's, uh, and then the status. So this a drop down. So just. Um, okay, now you can see if I select the uh, Samsung, submit, I form submitted, let's see if we have the Samsung device type. Okay, you see in the device we have the Samsung. And let's try once more with the iPhone. So, something, something, and then submit. Let's see. Okay, we have the uh, the iPhone. So uh, that's it. So that's how that was how you can modify uh, your your uh, your card uh, your text field into a drop down. So and also and some other uh, types so that if required. Uh, hope you learned something, a tip, and thanks.